I got every workout from 1983 until 1997. Every single workout, every rep, every set. Preparation notes for Mr. Olympia and all these things. This worked, this didn't work. So very analytical, writing everything, analyzing, studying. His training diary was his life, and that was him. He knew if he followed X, it would equal Y, and, it, and that's what's been proven. He totally believed what he was doing was right. He had no doubts. That's half the battle. If you believe in something, you, you can make it happen. Blood and guts is just to the level where no one's willing to go. I mean, that's, that's what it's about. Turn the body inside out, no matter what it takes. He wasn't going to stop. He was a train. I was never going to be a men's physique. Didn't have much of an off-season. I like his physique better. I'm always very energetic. I will have to put me as one of the greatest. Mr. Olympia was won by the back. Have you ever been out angled by anybody in the picture? Honestly, no. No. There's a guy in the gym that's, he's a big dude. He's like seven foot. He's like six, eight. And um, I out angled him. It was hard, but I, I, I did it. And uh, the, actually the picture made Men's Health magazine. They posted that picture in Men's Health. I was like, what the, why is it in Men's Health? I thought that was funny. That's crazy. But have people, people come up to you in the street to try to try to take a picture of you and try to angle you ever like big guys? Yeah. Yeah. All the time. Um, I, I went to Cleveland recently where I'm from, um, for my sister's wedding. And I went to a gym and I was super, I just couldn't believe how many out angling picks I had to take. I, 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 I honestly, I know it's kind of cheesy. I counted. Uh, it was 16, 16 different people wanted picks with me in one day. Um, I thought that was so cool. And uh, just out angling every, every, they're all kids. Like they're all like 17 to like 25, you know? So I'm just sitting there like, like crazy, you know? But I think what it was is they were like, why the f is Craig Elias in this gym? And then, you know, once I told them, yeah, I grew up around the corner, like, oh, no, sh you know, so that was kind of cool. But yeah, you know, um, I'm starting to get a lot more notice and I like it, you know, it makes me feel good. No, for sure. Man. How do you feel about synthol use users, people that use synthol to enhance body parts or some, sometimes just create muscles from synthol? Cheating. I think it's cheating. Even if, even if you just enhance it a little, like, I mean, there's different levels to it, right? I mean, there's some just. Yeah, I mean, like. Yeah, no, I get what you're saying. A, a lot of pros used it, you know, um, and, and came, you know, admitted to it. I didn't think there was anything really wrong with that as long as it looked like muscle. But, like, when you're abusing it, it just looks like a big blob. I mean, come on, guys. This is bodybuilding, you know. This isn't this isn't having the biggest bloated arms ever. You know, don't you want that horseshoe tricep? Don't you want that peak? You know, like, I don't get it. Like, when you start – you know, your arms shaped, it's not bodybuilding anymore. Now you're just being a freak, like, and not in a good way, you know? Well, sometimes people just want to be huge without doing the work, right? Or, or, you know. Do the work. Stop being lazy. Do the work. Well, when it comes to the pros using, I think it's more of like, it's more like, let's say genetically, they can't have a peak, right? They, yeah. That's, that's yeah, no, I could just say, like, when you see pros with weak arms, and, uh, you know, they're busting their ass, and, you know what I mean? Maybe, maybe a little bit, I don't know, like, but, if that's what it comes down to. But other than, if you're just like a dude in the gym trying to get big, you know, just do the work, you know.